Alright guys, Will here from ZaltechReviews.com uh, Today I'm taking a look at the Timeless HMS-003 This is the second watch that uh, Timeless have released The first one being 001 I don't know what happened to 002 but never mind This is, uh, well, as you can see uh, what I'll do in this review is go through the specs uh, and give you my thoughts at the end. This is the packaging that it came in. Uh, it's like a leather pouch. Fine, fair enough. Nothing to write home about, I don't think. But still, it's just going to sit in a drawer somewhere, isn't it? So... I'm not really that bothered about packaging. It's all about the watch, if you ask me. Right, anyway. Uh... Oh, shit. Play the intro. <laughs> right, guys. The Timeless HMS-003 Straight into the specs uh, Right, case diameter well, Wait a minute, I better zoom in a wee bit um, we go. I can't lie it flat No, I can actually, hang on No, I'll just leave it as it is I'll show you the dial in that Right, case diameter, these are my measurements as per, uh, 41.4 mil, a total thickness of 12.2 mil, lug to lug, uh, 47.4 mil and it has a 22 mil lug width. The total weight where the watch on this supplied uh, calf leather strap is 101 grams. Movement inside it is the Swiss made STP 1 11. 28,800 vibrations an hour, hackable self winding with a 44 hour power reserve. Right, the case itself is brushed 316L stainless steel. There are some small polished accents as you can see there between the case and the bezel uh, and as, along the bottom as well got that plaque there on the side I'm not a fan of plaques I'm not a fan of like these kind of wire lugs type things and as you can see it's no my cup of tea. And I just actually realised I actually thought they sent me the blue and white version as you describe it. This is actually green. I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, you could see it there. Anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, aye, the case. The bezel as well. It's fixed, obviously, but that looks like it's sandblasted because it's slightly different texture there from the, the brush case itself. I mean, don't get me wrong, right? This watch, uh, the build quality is very good. The finishing is it's lovely. No quite, I'm no doubting that in any way, shape or form. Uh, you can see the crown there. It's quite an oversized crown. But I like an oversized crown, to be honest with you. Easy to use. Uh, it's push-pull, by the way. It's all good. 
Uh, right, where was I? Uh, I've done the case. The strap. It's a nice uh, leather strap, calf leather. And it is very soft. I've got to say, got deployment, uh, deployment clasp here. I'm not a fan of these, to be honest. They just didn't really float my boat. It's always a pain in the arse to size it up as well. When you're trying to do it on your wrist, uh, you take it off the wrist and you move it. Oh, that's just a pain in the tits. Uh, but it is nice and comfortable. And it is good quality and nice and soft, as I said. Uh, two keepers there, one fixed, one floating. Hi, strap, uh, quick release as well, I believe. For fuck's sake. No, it isn't. No, it's not quick release. I take that back. Anyway. Right, moving on. Uh, crystal in it is a domed uh, sapphire. Oh, oh, excuse me. Dome Sapphire. I've just had my breakfast, by the way. Uh, fresh croissants. Lovely. Uh, aye, Dome Sapphire and underside AR coating. It's all good. I don't have a, an issue with legibility with this one. Well, I do, but I'll get into that later. Um, there's no loom on this. By the way, and if there is, well, I can't see any. Uh, the dial, gear shade pattern dial in the center. This is uh, supposed to be white, by the way. They call it white on their website, but this center section here is silver. Uh, but it is, it's done really, really well. I've looked at this under macro. I was trying to find faults, but I couldn't find any faults whatsoever. Skeletonized hands and sections there. And you've got this kind of open heart bit there in the middle. And you've got like a date complication there at six. And they have um, no color match. That they've made. It's not just normal you know, white background with black text. It does match like the Arabics and that on this piece around the edge. Uh, what do they call that? It's like, it's like a satin kind of brushed uh, hour wheel. That's nice. And as you can see, it is sloped as well. And you've got the applied logo there, just below the 12. And let's see, hang on. My eyes are bad. You've got, uh, it's almost like a, the, the double railroad track, like minute track around the, the far edge as well. So the hands. Ah. Uh, Kind of legible in some lights. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, I mean, the finishing of the hands are really nice. I'm not just, I mean, to be honest with you, this isn't the style of watch that I would normally go for. It's no mass style. I prefer, like, you know, like an everyday watch, a sports watch. A dive watch, maybe a fuel watch. This this doesn't really. It's no my cup of tea. It's no something that I would buy personally. But saying that, <clears throat> when I showed a picture of it on Instagram, the people were messaging me saying they really like it and they're glad that I got a watch like this in, because as I say, it's no something that I would normally review. It is on the dressy side, even although there isn't a great deal of portion on it. But as I say, it's no ma, it's no I would 
it doesn't make my heart flutter when I took it out of the box, put it that way, like some watches have. Uh, water resistance is 50 metres. Uh, the case back is solid and screwed down, which is a bit of an odd choice, you think, with this being slightly dressy, it would have a exhibition case back. I'm not sure what how well decorated the movement is or I actually think the STP 1-11 is actually decorated quite nicely but as I say I'm not I don't know why they haven't put an exhibition case back on there to show it off who knows I'm not taking the case back off anyway it's not my watch this is going back at, uh, or going on to a different review or whatever it's no stain here. Uh, you do get a... There's only... Oh, that's what I meant to say. On each colourway, there's only 40 being made of each colourway. And you do you will get a unique serial number on the back. Uh, I've already talked about the, the crown and whatnot. Um, you can buy these right now directly from their website, uh, Timeless Watch. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description, it goes to my website and you'll get the full details, the full specs, where to buy the full shebang. Um, warranty wise, two years, which is good. No complaints on the warranty side of things. Ugh. Um, right, what's, right, you might have noticed that I haven't mentioned the price. Normally, I give the price before I give you the full spec. But this is where I think, oh, it kind of... When the Timeless Watch reached out to me, I said, I sure, just send me it. Because at the time I said that, I didn't have a lot of watches in. And I said, I go and send me it. And there was a bit of interest in it. And I didn't really... I knew it was automatic, but I didn't really go over the specs before I said yes. And I got the watch in and I was doing my notes and all that. And I had to double check the price. I'm like, what? Fucking. Oh. Right, 1,450 Swiss francs, which is fucking expensive. Uh, you're talking, what, Formex money, uh, Christopher Ward money, depending on what model you go for that is, obviously, um, but Formex and Christopher Ward do make watches that I prefer, don't get me wrong, I'm not a Christopher Ward fanboy, because there's only like two or three models that I actually do really like. The rest of it I could take or leave, but I'm not really bothered. Uh, I'm a bit of a Formex fanboy because I've yet to have a Formex in that I didn't like. But, I mean, I think they're on a totally different level, especially the Formex, because other than the field watch, uh, you get COSC certified movement. I mean, it just ticks all the boxes for me. I, I, I'm a bit, I've got to admit, I'm a bit of a Formex fanboy. But for good reason, in, in my opinion. This, I think, is too expensive. Especially considering that it's only their second watch that they've released. Anyway, that's that's my thoughts. As I say, the build quality is really good. Uh, the finishing is perfect, really. I can't find any faults. Uh, even looking through a loop, I don't I don't see any faults. So, if, however, if this is your bag, and you do like this style of watch, then sure, go ahead, buy it. Um. No here to make you, to make you buy this or tell you no to buy it. I'm just giving you my opinion and where I stand. You know regarding 
the whole design and it's no for me. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, it does help. And I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.